Hello everyone, my name is Jack Murphy and in this video I'm going to go over step by step how to open a Roth IRA specifically on M1 Finance. I recently turned 18 so it's just time for me to make my own Roth IRA and I thought I could just make a video showing everyone how to open it and hopefully making it an easier process for you to start your own Roth IRA. The reason I'm using M1 Finance is because I think after you set it up it's just one of the easiest brokerages to use and it is very convenient for the way I like to invest so I just wanted to use M1 Finance but there are a couple other good brokerages like Vanguard Fidelity or Charles Schwab just to name a couple that are also good if you want to open a Roth IRA but I think for most and especially the casual investors M1 Finance is the way to go. If you don't already know what a Roth IRA is I'm going to give a quick explanation. A Roth IRA is basically just a retirement account that when you take your profit out you don't have to pay taxes on that profit. When you're contributing to your Roth IRA you don't get to write those contributions off on your taxes so you have to pay the taxes first but when you take the money out you're not paying taxes and that I think is a better deal than paying the taxes after. You actually can start a Roth IRA when you're a teenager and I could have done that earlier but I just didn't really know about that until recently so I just waited until after I turned 18 but if you're under 18 and can get a guardian's permission you can actually start a Roth IRA sooner if you have an income. When you turn 59 and a half you are allowed to start taking out your profits. You're allowed to take out your contributions with no penalty but you can't take your profits out with no penalty until you're 59 and a half. You also need to make contributions for five years to be able to take out the profits tax-free so that is something to know if you are close to 59 and a half. As of 2023 if you are under the age of 50 you can contribute $6,500 a year depending on your income and if you're over the age of 50 you can contribute $7,500 a year depending on your income. If you want to follow along with the setup there is a link in the description that you can use to set up your account. I would appreciate if you click that but you could also just go straight to the app store and download it from there. So you're going to make your account you're just going to click get started and then that'll lead you to make an email and password associated with the account. After you make your email and password you're going to have to fill in your phone number and verify it so they'll just text you a code and then you fill in that code and you'll get sent to the next steps. The next steps are filling out some questions. You'll get a question like filling out your social security number and I want everyone to feel comfortable that M1 Finance is one of the big brokerages. They have a lot of regulations so just like giving your bank your social security number it is safe to give it to M1 Finance. First it's going to ask you to fill out your name and then it's going to ask you if you are or are not an American citizen. Fill that out and then the next question is your address. Once again, is it okay to put your address in? They are very regulated, so your information is safe. If you were under the age of 18, you're going to have to get a custodial Roth IRA, and that is a different process, and you're going to need your guardian's help to do that. So if you were under 18, you can't go on from here, but if you were over 18, put in your birthday and you can continue. Like I said, you're going to have to fill out your social security number here, and I'm obviously not showing you mine. So next, you're going to have to fill out some questions, especially this first one. If you click yes to any of these except the bottom there's other processes you have to go through because you can get insider information and that is very illegal in the stock market trading world then you're gonna have to fill out your employment status I'm a student and I do not have a employer yet but if you are employed you're gonna have to fill out some information about where you work and who your employer is and whatnot so be prepared to do that after that you're gonna have to fill out some income and net worth type questions if your income is under $6,500 or $7,500, then you can't max out your Roth IRA because you can only put however much your income is into a Roth IRA. That is something to know if you are a student and close to that $6,000 number, whether or not you'll be able to max out your Roth IRA. These next couple of questions, you don't have to be like too stressed about answering specifically, as long as you're just generally close. If you're going for the how long you're going to invest, just answer truthfully to that. But the other ones, if you're in between two answers, it's not that important for these four questions. Then you're going to add a trusted contact. For me, I'm just doing with my parents. For you, it could be the same, or it could just be a close friend or relative. Ask you how you heard about M1 Finance. If you're hearing it through this video, you can select media. But other than that, it's not really that important. Once you answer those questions, it's just going to show you all your answers, make sure everything is correct, and then submit. And then after that, you're going to connect your bank. I'm not trying to expose any of my bank details, but I go through Chase and then I click on Chase and then log into my bank and then click connect. And it basically just connects your bank to M1 Finance for deposits. After you do your bank details, you're going to have to show some type of identification so they can make sure you are actually the person signing into your account with your social security number and whatnot. 
You can use a driver's license, a social security card, or a passport. I actually did have some problems using my driver's license and I had to just use my social security card. But after I put in my social security card, that worked. So maybe just go with that right away or just try your driver's license or passport. Unfortunately, this part of the footage got corrupted, so I'm gonna go over it again. So once you get identified, it might take one to two business days for that to go through, but then you'll get an email saying your identification has been approved, and then you're going to make your Roth IRA. So M1 Finance has multiple different types of accounts. So you have to go to the invest on the bottom, click invest, and then the three lines button on the top left. After you do that, you'll see your portfolio. It'll just say portfolios, and then it'll have your regular one, and you wanna add a Roth IRA. So to do that, you're gonna to go to the bottom of that left sidebar and click add account. Then you'll see a bunch of different types of accounts. You wanna click on retirement account because a Roth IRA is a retirement account. After you do that, you will see some of the different types of retirement accounts. Now, in this video, I'm just showing you how to do Roth IRA because that's the one I am using. So click on Roth IRA. After you do that, it might take a couple days to process, but then you're going to make your first pie and on M1 Finance, how you invest is through pies. Pies are just saying what percentage you're gonna invest in different types of stocks or ETFs. I am not a financial advisor, and I really don't want anyone to just blindly copy how I'm gonna invest in my Roth IRA, but I'll show you what I am doing. I'm making a pie with ETFs. I'm only investing in ETFs in my Roth IRA because I wanna be a little safer and more diversified. And on screen, you can see what ETFs I'm making with my pie. I have a video on my channel where I make an ETF portfolio and this one is slightly different because I add a little bit of Jeppy. That's just because I think it is a little more riskier and may not be in my portfolio for as long, but I just wanted to try it out. But I go with VOO, which is the S&P 500, QQQ, which is a growth ETF to have a little more growth, and SCHD, my favorite dividend ETF to have some dividend income in my Roth IRA and also Jeppy, which is another higher yield dividend ETF. Once again, not a financial advisor and especially in your Roth IRA, which is a retirement account, do a lot of research on what you're investing in because that is very important. So after you make your pie, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your bank is connected and then you're going to fund your Roth IRA. Now, when you're on M1 Finance at least and a lot of other Roth IRAs, then you're gonna to have to make an initial deposit minimum, $500. So make sure you have that saved up beforehand and you just follow what I'm doing on screen to make your deposit into your Roth IRA. If you're only investing in your Roth IRA, make sure it says minimum is 500 because if it is a regular account, it might say minimum 100 and that would be the wrong one. So you can obviously transfer that money, but it's just easier to get it right the first time. Before I move on to the next part, I wanna give a little bonus information. You could invest your entire 6,500 or 7,500 right away and instantly max out your Roth IRA for that year, which if you want to do that, that's completely fine. Um, but you could also dollar cost average where you put in the $500 and then invest a little bit every single week until the next year and spread out that money. So if the market were to be very volatile, you can kind of even out that average cost. I'm going with that way personally myself, but that's just because it's hard to invest $6,500 instantly for most people. Now, if you're making the account after market hours, it's not going to instantly fill out your pie. Once it turns to the next morning where the market is open, all your money will get put into that pie and it'll be divided however you made that pie. If you're going to the dollar cost average route to invest in your Roth IRA, listen up. M1 Finance makes it really easy to make automatic transfers, which is what I'm going to do for my Roth IRA. This is why I like M1 Finance for my Roth IRA because I like the spreading out my money without me having to think about it. And after that's all done, congratulations. You don't really have to manage your Roth IRA that much. Every now and then it's good to check in on it and make sure everything's doing okay. But you realistically don't even have to look at it again until you're 59 and a half and you'll have all that money tax-free sitting for you. So well done, you've done a good job and that's all for this video. So leave a like and peace.